Yeah, Vlad, say hi. This is Vlad, he's an amazing uh, guy helping me with this uh, car. So this car or van, <laughs> the Sprinter van, we have to actually get it running. It's uh, been sitting for a, a long time, maybe like a year or lo over a year. It needs an alternator and needs a uh, uh, belt tensioner and stuff like that. So let me get this going. Where is the secondary release? It is somewhere. I don't even know if I can find it. Okay guys, so we have to replace the alternator on it, belt tensioner, stuff like that. Someone uh, installed it, but not the proper way, but the alternator is bad. So I have to change the alternator for sure. And just, you know, bring this amazing machine back to life. All right, got all the tools ready to go. I'm gonna go underneath, start working, replacing this thing. charge this battery okay so we got the battery disconnected it's currently charging and I'm gonna go underneath to work on this alternator and removal of this belt to all right guys so here's the alternator right here so we have to take off these connections from the back and then there's a bunch of these torx bolts here too and then the belt tensioner is like right over here somewhere yeah on that side this is where that tensioner is pull on it and remove the belt pull and get like this belt off. Okay, get this belt out. Okay, so the belt is off. Now we can take this alternator off. Let's go back to this. I see compressors in the vest. Maybe some other police too. Tensioner pulley, we'll change that. And that idler pulley probably too. Right. Okay, so you see this new tensioner, it has this pin inside. So what I need to do to take the old one off is to turn this bolt, 12 point, 12 point socket, and then align these two holes and install like an Allen key or something in there like a pin. Otherwise you can't really get to these two bolts. So this is how I did it, I aligned those two holes, Allen key through, and now I can get to this, those bolts. Easy, it's hard to see those bolts, the holding, but there's, there are two Torx bolts holding the tensioner in place. Okay, so looking, this is the radio right here. So up there is where that bolt is, one of them. It's a pain for sure, but I'm gonna get this out. it is forget to wear safety glasses even though i'm wearing safety glasses still got a lot of junk in my eyes okay so we got the old tensioner out i mean sure i could have probably tried and replacing this just the pulley but hey i'm gonna replace new one install new one made in germany 
new bolts actually these are the old bolts i'm gonna put a little bit of grease on these bolts and i'm gonna go ahead and reinstall this guy i'm gonna use a little bit of silicone paste or just any grease like some copper anti-seize would be nice on bolts all right guys so i got the tensioner replaced it's over there two bolts all nice and snug now i'm gonna do the alternator okay i've removed this big cable i'm gonna take this other cable off and get this alternator replaced on this amazing machine And I miss working on the Washington cars. No rust, everything moves easy. Everything is nice, preserved. This is a lot more difficult. And I thought this bolt was gonna break. I'm just taking the last bolt out right now on this thing. It's definitely not easy, I had to remove some of this piping there too so yeah it's, it's fun for sure but gotta get this done there it is out finally oh it got dark already so ready to install this belt on this car also a brand new one uh, and then everything else here is reinstalled. So I have to install this harness back in here. Uh, about to show the alternator and stuff. Uh, and what it looks like. And the battery should be done charging actually pretty soon. All right, guys, we got everything installed here. Alternator, brand new, everything reconnected. Also brand new belt and brand new tensioner over there. So I'm gonna see where the battery is and how that is going and we're gonna install that and start this beast up. The battery charged up a little, about 11.4, probably won't start, but we'll see, might have to jump it. All right, everything ready to go. We're gonna see if she, if she cranks or not, hopefully. All right, she's got a little bit of fuel. I hope she's enough to crank it. Try again. Yeah, she needs a jump. She's gonna try to use a 123 for a jump. Another jumper. Still nothing. guys this is the next day uh, actually a couple days later the battery should be fully charged up i'm gonna go ahead and install it right now we have uh vlad working on his car leo's bmw right here and everything and yeah it's awesome <laughs> amazing let's try to start it uh, na, na, na. Uh, let's see the key where is the key should be in my pocket amazing she started wow 
10 millimeter wrench does it all, huh? Nice. Let her warm up. She hasn't run for a long time, guys. Long time. Uh, let's check the voltage, guys. There we go. Charging. Great. Exercise the brakes a little. I'll let it warm up. Exercise everything on this car. Chukcha Vlad, what happened here? Someone decided to drain the oil but forgot to open the oil pan. Open the oil pan cap, I should say. All right, I hope you guys liked this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. There's gonna be more videos probably about this van or if not about this van and about other amazing old school machines that we are saving.